The parade, as we know it, has only been around since the early 80s. Irish heritage here in Syracuse goes a lot further back. More than 200 years of tradition and even the creation of a signature Syracuse dish. News Channel Line's Rob Hackford digs into the story. Whether the Kearney Brewery or Mayor James McGuire, the story of Syracuse's Irish upbringing dates all the way back to the 19th century. One of the things uh, about Syracuse that obviously made it attractive was that there was a very large uh, Irish population here, and it was sort of known as a place that was more welcoming. Immigrants flocking for labor on the Erie Canal helped build much of upstate New York. But even before that, Syracuse was the salt city. And, you know, from salt, brine, um, the salt blocks, we get one of our local delicacies, the salt potato. Emil Searing says was made out of necessity, thanks to Irish workers. A cheap meal and something they knew very well. So these guys had the potatoes to eat, and they realized they could cook them quickly in the boiling vats of brine. Toss them in, let them go, and the next thing you know, you take them out, and this is a delectable, briny bite of a mushy goodness. Enjoyed by millions since the 1800s, when those Irish workers went home, their impact carried with them. It's jobs, it's community, it's, uh, it's religion, it's, it's culture, it's sort of having a piece of home, you know, in a, in a new place. Communities like Tip Hill and the former Salt Point, now the town of Salina, used to be hubs for industry. Onondaga pottery, the salt industry, and numerous mills, those are gone now, but the Irish history is still being carried on. People from all over the country come to Tip Hill to go, you know, see the Stone Stores Monument, to see the, the traffic light, to go to Coleman's, I mean, you know, Coleman's or Kitty Hoyne's. So even if you're Irish for a day, we all can appreciate what St. Patrick's Day means in Syracuse. Rob Hackford, News Channel 9. And tune in for